originally published on October 29, 2017. The burqa is more of a traditional garb than a religious covering. It nevertheless, serves as a religious requirement of the hijab. A Muslim woman is not supposed to get involved with the opposite sex unnecessarily, especially when there is no third person, chaperone-like, or people around, for it leads to evil due to the presence of, on the prowl, Satan. Islam instinctively is a preemptive religion to prevent its adherents from getting involved in sinfulness. They, however, are not prevented from going to work as long as it does not conflict with religious requirements. Quranic Injunctions O children of Adam! We have bestowed on you, the raiment to cover your shame as well as to adorn you. But the raiment of righteousness, that is the best. Such are among the signs of Allah, that they may receive admonition. Quran 7:26. O Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to draw their cloaks close round them, when they go abroad outside. That will be better, so that they may be recognized and not annoyed. Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. Quran 33:59. The verse was revealed at the time of marriage of Siyad Zainab bint Jasha with the Prophet Pbuh in 5th Hijri it is then that the hijab practice started. And say, O Prophet, to the believing women that they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty, that they should not display their beauty and ornaments except what must ordinarily appear thereof, that they should draw their veils over their bosoms and not display their beauty except to their husbands, their fathers, their husbands' fathers, their sons, their husbands' sons, their brothers, or their brothers' sons or their sisters' sons, or their women or the servants whom their right hands possess, or male servants free of physical needs, or small children who have no sense of the shame of sex, and that they should not strike their feet in order to draw attention to their hidden ornaments. And O you believers, turn you all together towards Allah, that you may attain bliss. Quran 24 31. The purport of parta slash hijab slash niqab slash burqa is the purity of nafs, self, and limbs. Both men and women have been ordained to keep their gaze from wandering piercingly towards the opposites and also protect one's private parts from being misused by oneself or other, s, by getting involved in illegal sexual activities. There are four modes of the hijab vogue in Islamic parlance. Covering slash protection. 1. Sitar, it is the whole body of the woman. It is navel to down the knees for men. The portions of the body mentioned are mandatory to be covered in Islam. 1. Kamar, a sheet of cloth over the head, and shoulders. Dopata scarf. 1. Jilbab, a thicker and bigger sheet of cloth covering the head, and shoulders. Chador. 1. Hijab, a sheet of cloth, pulled somewhat over the forehead, partly hiding the eyes, but able to see the way clearly when outside the house due to some necessity or compulsion. Additionally, women are advised not to be ostentatious in public with their adornments. Women are forbidden, from wearing contour-revealing clothes, sound-making, attention-grabbing jewelry, and wearing makeup in public. It is the best example of a modest woman presented in Islam. She would not, by her act or behavior, become the cause of arousal of carnal desire in a man, and, of course, vice versa. Islam, however, has no specific dress code allowing for cultural diversity. There is always a legitimate concern expressed whether covering, in Islam, is mandatory or optional. There are two points of view in this regard. One is that modesty is the only thing required of lay women, while the women of the Prophet are ordained to be covered and shielded in Quran. O Prophet! Tell thy wives and thy daughters, and the women of the believers to draw their cloaks close round them, when they go abroad. That will be better, so that they may be recognized and not annoyed. Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. Q. 3359, Surah al-Azab. And tell the believing women to reduce, some, of their vision and guard their private parts and not expose their adornment except that which, necessarily, appears thereof, and to wrap, a portion of, their head covers over their chests and not expose their adornment except to their husbands, their fathers, their husbands' fathers, their sons, their husbands' sons, their brothers, their brothers' sons, their sisters' sons, their women, that which their right hands possess, or those male attendants having no physical desire or children who are not yet aware of the private aspects of women. And let them not stamp their feet to make known what they conceal of their adornment. And turn to Allah in repentance, all of you, O believers, that you might succeed. The bosom of a woman is also considered a private part that has to be properly covered. Q. 2431, Surah al nur In addition to these verses, some ahadith may be consulted for further information and make an informed opinion slash decision. Sahih Bukhari No. 4141, 1838. Sahih Muslim No. 7020. In light of the above verses of the Quran and Ahadith, 
I contend that covering seems mandatory for all Muslim women. There is, however, a difference of opinion about the verse mentioning covering, for the women of the Prophet as well as other Muslim women. One generally accepted point of view is that these injunctions are perpetual for all Muslim women. Another point of view, based on precedence, seems more logical and rational in the present circumstances. According to it, face, hand, and feet coverings are not mandatory unless necessitated by the situations. In the times of the Prophet, women used to interact with him without covering their faces, hands, and feet and there was no segregation of sexes up until the 3rd century after Hijra. Based on the context of verse 3359 it is deduced that, these injunctions were in a situation where Muslim women were harassed and hurt by the enemies of Islam. Therefore, covering was a sign of distinction for Muslim women not to be harassed. Those who still dare harass Muslim women would be apprehended and killed. Types of Muslim Woman Headgear Although Muslim scholars fashion niqab considered permissible according to Sharia A is, where the head and entire face, except the eyes, are covered. Hand palms and feet are also allowed to be exposed, given hereunder are various types in use. The hijab is one of the names for a variety of similar headscarves. It is the most popular veil worn in the world and especially in the West. These veils consist of one or two scarves that cover the head and neck. Outside the West, this traditional veil is worn by many Muslim women in the Arab world and beyond. The niqab covers the entire body, head, and face, however, an opening is left for the eyes. The two main styles of niqab are the half niqab, which consists of a headscarf and facial veil that leaves the eyes and part of the forehead visible, and the full, or gulf, niqab which leaves only a narrow slit for the eyes. Although these veils are popular across the Muslim world, they are more common in the Gulf states. A chador is a full body length shawl held closed at the neck by hand or pin. It covers the head and the body but leaves the face completely visible. Chatters are most often black and are most common in the Middle East, specifically in Iran. The burqa is a full body veil. The wearer's entire face and body are covered, and one sees through a mesh screen over the eyes. It is most commonly worn in Afghanistan, Pakistan, and India. Under the Taliban regime in Afghanistan, 1996 to 2001, its use was mandated by law. Comment slash like slash share slash follow and subscribe. Shakir Mumtaz. Author, thinker, analyst.